Mr. Stevens, you're recognized for whatever opening comments you care to make. Mr. Chairman. And members of the, the, the of the of the committee, just so there, there there is no confusion, let me say that I, I am not a a a research scientist. <laughs> However, no one knows more about life with Down syndrome than than, than I do. Whatever, whatever you learn today, please remember this. I am a man with Down syndrome, and my life is worth living. Sadly, across the world, a notion is being sold that that maybe we don't need research concerning down concerning down syndrome some people say prenatal screens will identify down syndrome in the womb and those pregnancies will just be terminated it's hard for me to sit here and say those words. I completely, I completely understand that, that, that the people pushing this particular final solution are saying that, that people like me should not exist. That view is deeply prejudiced by an, uh, by an outdated idea of life with, with, of life with Down syndrome. Seriously, I have a great life. I have, I have lectured at universities, acted in an award-winning film and an Emmy-winning TV show and spoken to thousands of young people about the value of inclusion in making America great. I have been to the White House twice, and I didn't have to jump the fence either time. <laughs> Seriously. I don't feel I should have to justify my existence. But, but to those who question the value of people with Down syndrome, I would like, I would make three points. First, we, 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 are, we are a medical gift to society, a blueprint for for medical research into cancer, Alzheimer's, and immune system disorders. Second, we are in an unusually powerful source of happiness. A Harvard-based study has discovered that people with Down syndrome, as well as their parents and siblings, are happier than society at large. Surely happiness is, is worth something. Finally, we are the, we are the canary in the, eugenics, in the eugenics coal mine. We are giving the world a chance to think about the ethics of choosing which humans get a chance at life. So we are helping to defeat cancer and Alzheimer's. And we make the world a happier place. Is there, 
is there really no place for us in the, 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 in the, 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 the world? Is there really no place for us in the NIH budget? On a deeply personal note, I cannot tell you how much it means to me that my extra chromosome might lead to the answer to, to Alzheimer's. It's likely that, that this it's likely, likely that this thief will one day steal my memories, my very life from me. This is very hard for me to say, but it has already begun to steal my mom from me. Please think about all those people you love, the way I love my mom. Help us make this difference. If not for me and my mom, then for, then for you and the ones you love. Fund this research. Let's be America, not Iceland or Denmark. Let's pursue answers, not final solutions. Let's be America. Let's make our goal to be Alzheimer's free, not Down syndrome free. Thank you. Thank you. Imagine if you could change society's stance on abortion. How do you feel about the issue of abortion? I think in some situations it can be necessary. So have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yeah. Would you ever vote for someone who is for the killing of children in the womb? No. I believe in someone's right to choose. Are you going to change your stance on it? Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely making me think, yeah. I feel like it's more of the, a choice. Yeah, when you put it that way, it does change your mind. Would you vote for someone who is pro-abortion? Yeah. So have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yes, I have. <laughs> I believe that people have the right to choose. So have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yes, that's, I've just changed my mind about abortion. Are you going to vote differently in future? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. Sometimes it's necessary if you're in the situation where you can't support a child. So you're saying that you're changing your mind about yes. abortion right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a woman's right to choose and every situation is a different situation. Are you going to vote differently and think differently about this? Yeah, I think I would. I think I definitely would. I'm for abortion. It's never okay to kill a baby in the womb. Okay, so you're going to change your mind about abortion? Yes, I am. Are you going to vote differently in future? Yes, vote against abortion. What was it that changed their minds? In a matter of seconds, Find out. Go to 180movie.com for details. <laughs>